started quadratic equations. In this, we are going to find the roots of the equation 5 square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 by the method of completing the square. So, the given equation is 5x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. See, here is the question of x square is 5. So, divide the whole equation by 5. 5 by 5 into x square minus 6 by 5 into x minus 2 by 5 is equal to 0. Here we can cancel 5 and 5. What is remaining x square minus 6 by 5 into x minus 2 by 5. This minus 2 by 5 will go to the right side and it will become plus 2 by 5. So, take the half of this. Half of 6. What is the quotient of x? Coefficient of x is 6 by 5. So, 6 by 5 into half is half of this. 6 ones are 6. Otherwise, you can cancel here. Into half means 2 ones are 2 threes are. So, this 3 into 1 is 3 divided by 5 ones are 5. That is 3 by 5. So, take the whole square of this and add to both sides of the equations. So, x square minus 6 by 5 x and 3 by 5 whole square both sides. 3 by 5 whole square. And here also you have 3 by 5 whole square. And this 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 whole square. Now we can write this one like this. Because a, like a minus b whole square. What is a minus b whole square? a square minus 2ab plus b square. So instead of these three terms we can write like this. So that is equal to this. How do you, how did you get this one? Solve this one. 2 by 5, 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 whole square. That is equal to 2 by 5 plus 3 square means 9, 5 square means 25. Take the LCM. Since you have the fractions here, take the LCM of these two. What is LCM of 25 and 5? 25. So divide this 25 by 5. How many times it goes? 5 5 are 25. That 5 into 2, it is 10. Plus, you have same here as denominator, I mean LCM and the denominator, denominator is are same. So, write the same thing here, 9. So, 10 plus 9 is 19 divided by 25. So, for, if you solve this one, you will get 19 by 25. So, x minus 3 by 4 whole square is equal to 19 by 25. X minus 3 by 5 is equal to, when you take out this square, it will be plus or minus square root of 19 by 25. That is equal to plus or minus square root of 19 divided by square root of 25 means square root of 5 into 5. Square root of 5 into 5 means, when you have the same number inside the square root, twice you can take it out once. That means square root of 25 is 5. So, continue here. So, X is equal to 3 by 5. Plus or minus square root of 19 by 5. That is equal to 5 is the LCM. So 3 plus or minus square root of 19. This can be written as x is equal to 3 plus root 19 whole divided by 5. And x is equal to 3 minus root 19 whole divided by 5. Therefore, the roots are 3 plus root 19 by 5 and 3 minus root 19 by 5. Now let me take the next equation. 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. What is the coefficient of x square? Yeah, that is 2. So divide the whole equation by 2. So 2 by 2 into x square minus 7 by 2 into x plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0. Here you cancel 2 and 2. So what is remaining? x square minus 7 by 2x is equal to, this goes to the right side, it will be Minus 3 by 2. Plus 3 by 2 will go to the right side and it becomes minus 3 by 2. And then take the coefficient of x and half of it. The coefficient of x is 7 by 2 and half of it means multiply it by half. 7 1 is 7. 2 2 is 4. So it will be 7 by 4. Take the square of that and add to both sides of this equation. So x square minus 7 by 2x and 7 by 4 whole square to both sides. 7 by 2, sorry, 
is 7 by 4 whole square is equal to 7 by 4 whole square minus 3 by 2. So, x, these three terms are there. So, instead of these three terms, you can write this as x minus 7 by 4 whole square because it will be in the form of a minus b whole square. That is a square minus 2ab plus b square. That is equal to, when you solve this one, 7 by 4 whole square minus 3 by 2. 7 square means 49, 4 square means 16 minus 3 by 2. So, take the LCM of 16 and 2. Yes, 16 only. When you have 16 and 16, you can take the same number here. 49 minus 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 into 3 is 8 3 is 24. 49 minus 24 is 25 divided by 16. So, when you solve this, when you solve this, you will get 25 by 16. That is 24 by 16. So, x minus 7 by 4 whole square is equal to 24 by 16. When you take out this square, you can put the square root. So, x minus 7 by 4 is equal to plus or minus square root of 25 by 16. What is the square root of 25? 5. Square root of 16 is 4. Because 5 5s are 25 and 4 4s are 16. So, here we can take x is equal to this minus 7 by 4 goes to the right side and will become 7 plus 7 by 4 plus or minus 5 by 4. So, we will continue here. x is equal to 7 by 4 plus 5 by 4. That is equal to LCM is same. I mean, denominator is same. So, that is the LCM. That is 4. So, you can add the numerator as it is. 7 plus 5 is 12. So, 12 by 4. So, cancel it with the 4th table. 4 3s are 4 1s are. So, 3 divided by 1 is 3. The next term is 1 is plus. The other one we have to take it as minus. So, x is equal to 7 by 4 minus 5 by 4. The same thing here. LCM is 4. So, numerator is 7 minus 5. That is equal to 2 by 7 minus 5 is 2 divided by 4. 2 1s are 2 2s are. That is half. Therefore, the roots are 3 and 1 by 2. Dear children, if you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. Thank you.